whenever I think of the brain, I, I, I think of GBMs, right? I think of these awful tumors. Is there anything on the horizon to render them less lethal? We are making progress, and specifically around understanding what causes. So, mm -hmm. you know, just 10 years ago, uh, you would remove one of these tumors, and you send it to the lab, and you could get the diagnosis of that this is a glioblastoma. Now, uh, in most academic medical centers, you'll also get a genetic profile of the tumor. So nowadays, we actually know specifically what kind of mutations are involved. And that's going to be really critical for this next chapter, which is using those genetic alterations to tailor and personalize you know, uh, chemotherapy and more. So um, this has big implications because um, we're now moving from an era where we use a visualization of the histology now to this molecular profiling, which is more mechanistic. Um, the new chemo agents are really going to be targeting mechanisms as opposed to general things like cell cycle um, and metabolism and things like that. There are also really exciting things that we're seeing around new ways to train the immune, immune cells to, to target things. It turns out that glioblastomas actually suppress parts of the immune system, so they, they're kind of like growing in stealth, and they activate you know, molecules and cells in a, in a cloak way that can't be recognized by immune cells anymore. And so if we can basically allow the tumors to be recognized by the immune system, that could be something that really unlocks therapy in the future, too. Do we have any idea what predisposes an individual to this from a risk perspective? 